the movie began with Gwen playing the drums in Dimension Earth 65. As in reality, she is the female Spider-Man who hang out with Peter Parker and her dad is the police. But as Peter gets bullied, he drinks the lizard poop. So at prom, he become the lizard and try to kill the bully, but Gwen try to stop him. And he dies from construction. So in reality, this Peter Parker is the stupid. How you gonna die from construction, you useless B- minus failure. This is why you need to spank your kids. This is why people take birth control. This is the worst version of Peter Parker I've seen in my life. Gwen's dad sees this and Barry's Spider-Man killed Peter Parker and vows to arrest Spider-Man. So basically a multiverse exists where there is an infinite different realities of different versions of Spider-Man. Such as the Karen Spider-Man on the left and the Brack Spider-Man on the right known as Miles Morales. And one day as she fight the Birdman, we see the web and a portal with Mexican Spider-Man that came to take the Birdman back to its original destiny. The nation as you will start glitching if you're in the wrong universe as the mexican and karen fight the bird we see another brack spider-man but this one is pregnant also the mexican has vampire qualities like what the hell as the bird gets captured gwen is tired and out of webs but gets confronted by her dad the popo so she take her mask off but the dad like spider-man is a karen the dad feels betrayed because gwen was lying and when he tried to arrest her he gets in some tech prison spanish man uses a watch to open a portal to another dimension then gives gwen one and allows her to join. The dad is like, no, as the Karen asks for the manager. And then we move to Earth Dimension 1610. As Miles' parents talk to a teacher at school, we're introduced to a character called Spot, who tries stealing money and has the power to create portals and teleport. Then comes Miles Morales, the Spider-Man of Earth 1610, who fights bad guys, is horrendously down bad for Gwen, and had a good uncle that died. Miles then toys with the Spot and treats him like a joke and captures him while not taking him seriously. Then heads to his room, gets changed, and joins his parents. Turns out Miles has good grades, but he's skipping too many classes. His bro wants to go to Princeton to study dark matter to help people. As the parents hear him out, Miles finds out the spot is out again so bro leaves in a rush and so does his dad since he's a cop so they fight again as the dad tries to help out what is bro doing with his leg you trying to take his shoes off or something we then learn that spot was a scientist that transported a spider from another dimension earth 42 that it was the same spider that bit miles to become spider-man we also learn from the previous film when spider-man defeated the villain it destroyed a collider machine while spots was working on it and transformed him to the way he is now this made him lose his job friends and family as he blames miles for all of this and wants revenge but then bro kicks his own booty and falls in his own portal miles and his dad then share a moment together but neither of his parents know he's Spider-Man. Meanwhile, Spots discover he's in a void when he spanks himself and realizes he has the power to travel to other universes. Yo, this man has zero turbulence in his booty. Where's the gap? Do some squats, G. So he go to Lego World, then Chinatown. And because he ran out of spots, he decides to get stronger and get more spots loud. Then Lego Man tells Spanish Man about spots because he's a snitch. Miles then gets a cake to congratulate his dad for becoming captain. And because he don't know math and can't time manage, by the time he gets back, the cake is ruined and he gets grounded. Yo, be lucky you're getting grounded. My mama will put a child stick up my ass. Miles then walks away, goes to his room, and jacks off to Gwen. And during post nut clarity, a portal opens up and Gwen shows up to Miles. She's like, ooh, let me break this. Damn, bro, his face looked like he wanted to give her a taste of equality. Give her that Chris Brown special. Hey, what's this? Is this me? Oh my gosh, just ask for nudes, little bro. She then invites him out and he goes out despite being grounded because he wants the white girl. Hey, yo, what the hell, little man? Where are your parents? And without Miles knowing, Gwen then puts surveillance on spots. Miles and Gwen then start flirting as he gives her the light skin stare. Oh, he wants to give her a spider noodle because a spider willy is tingly. So bro makes a move and Gwen sees the move then hits him with the friend zone combo. Yeah, we can be friends. Thanks, buddy. Miles then learns of this elite club of Spider-Man that have all these watches and questions why he wasn't invited. Then the mom shows up like, are you using protection? Oh, look at the time. Gotta go. Mom, you gotta stop embarrassing me. Promise me you'll use protection. There's so many STDs in this world. I promise. Go get laid. Bro then gets changed and chases Gwen to a building with holes. As Miles wants to go inside Gwen's building holes. And in order to achieve this, Miles turns invisible as his Spider-Man includes invisibility and can create electric shockwaves. Gwen then checks the surveillance and sees the spot building a collider. And once in contact with his body, it creates more spots and thus making him stronger. Gwen then panics as Miss Pregnant asks why she didn't capture spots as they find out he's traveling to many different dimensions. Miles realizes spots is finding every collider machine he can find in different universes to become ridiculous overpowered to destroy him. Miss Pregnant then gives Gwen an hour to capture him as she enters a portal and Miles follows her and enters. Cause he's horny. Then arrives to Earth 50101. As Spots asks where he can find the collider, we're introduced to Indian Spider-Man. Gwen then reunites with Miles, but regardless, Spots finds the collider and stops the spiders from entering. And even with the help of London Spider-Man named Hobie, they didn't stand a chance despite a four-on-one gangbang. Honest question though, instead of going for the spot, why couldn't they just break the machine to make the collider stop working like there's literally four of you? So Spot gets to the machine and makes contact causing an explosion. Miles 
Miles then sees a glimpse of the future with Spot destroying everything, as we see Miles' dad and an Indian inspector running towards a kid. As Bro comes back to his senses, the Spot is more powerful than ever and says he will take everything away from Miles. The spiders then discover the building falling, so they do spidey stuff like save people as Indian Spider-Man holds a bus. We then see a little girl crying as an Indian inspector tries to save her. Miles, knowing they might not make it, tries to help, but Gwen stops him, so he goes, Wee! The building comes down, but he saves the girl and the inspector. The people applaud as they get a standing ovation, but Gwen's watch then says Canada event disrupted as all of India starts glitching with a quantum hole created. Then the Spider Club Elite team shows up to fix the problem. Hey, yo, got Damn, Spider-Man, this man has cake! Holy moly, his cheeks are the size of a TV! Miss Pregnant then tells the three to come to HQ. Oh, and this is Hobie, by the way. Miles goes to HQ at Earth 928, surrounded by countless Spider-Man from all different dimensions. But where is the Chinese Spider-Man? I want to sing China, man. China, man. Miles then starts glitching because it's not his dimension as he's given a wristband to prevent glitching. They then discover a machine that transports anyone back to their dimension by scanning their DNA. A Spanish man, also known as Miguel, finally meets Miles and throws a table at him. As Peter Parker, the original Spider-Man, who was Miles' mentor in the first film, reunites with him and turns out he has a kid. But Miguel is pissed off and explains to Miles the Spider-Verse exists of infinite versions of Spider-Man in infinite different dimensions. And events that must take place are called canon events such as every Spider-Man getting bit by a spider, or every Spider-Man losing a loved one such as Miles' uncle. Another canon event is the captain of the police dying from saving someone. Miguel then blames Miles for stopping a canon event that the Indian inspector was meant to die but because Miles saved him it created a quantum hole. Miguel says he stopped the canon event once thinking everything will be fine but it resulted in his entire universe being destroyed all by himself as this also risks destroying the entire Spider-Verse. He then sees the vision of his dad as the captain saving a child as Miles realizes his dad dying is a canon event. As it turns out they all knew but him. Peter then tells Miles it's the canon events that make Spider-Man who they are but Miles refusing to let his father die meaning he will stop a canon event puts him in a tech prison. But thanks to the plot armor bro runs loose as all the other Spider-Man try to find him. I, uh... And clearly this one has no spider sense. Miles gets chased as we see the cat and dino spider. But how the hell are there so many of them and not a single one can catch him? Gwen then realizes she wants his sausage but Miles says it's too late Karen. Then Peter finds him and tries to convince him bad things are bound to happen but it shapes who they are and that good things will also happen too. But his location tracker goes off so Miles leaves. Then he do the kung fu to the pregnant lady and gets dominated by daddy Miguel. Who then says the spider that bit Miles isn't even from his dimension and that there's a world with no Spider-Man and says Miles created spots. But turns out Miles lured all the Spider-Man away from their clubhouse as he electrocutes Miguel and sends him flying. Then goes back to the clubhouse while one staff is just chilling. As Miles turns invisible to use the machine that will take him back home. And when the staff and Miguel tries to stop him, it's too late as Miles teleports. I still can't believe there was only one person guarding the only machine that can take Miles home. Like out of the thousands of Spider-Man, not a single one was like, hey, why are we chasing him? Let's just guard this machine and he'll come to us. Like I thought Spider-Man was smart, but they just got outsmarted by a 15 year old. Really? So Miguel is pissed off and kicks Gwen out of the club and then goes with a team to fight the spot as Miles and Gwen is teleported. Peter then chills with Mary Jane to make a second child as Gwen finds out her watch is useless. So she rage quit la. She then meets her dad and finds out he won't arrest her because he quit his job because he realizes black lives matter. She then gives him a hug and says, thank you for not engaging in police brutality anymore. As the dad says a friend left her a gift, which is the watch that creates portals from Hobie. So she makes a portal and leaves her dad to rot. Aw, she's leaving me just like her mother. Miles then hurries back home and breaks the windows and the car windshield. Ayya, uh, that cost a lot of money. I thought Spider-Man's supposed to help people, not ruin their day -la. Like, could you imagine trying to get insurance for the car? Like, oh yeah, some dude over mass just broke it. Can I get insurance? Miles then gets home and tells his mom Spider-Man is brack, but the mom is just chilling and bro starts glitching. Gwen then goes to Miles' room in his dimension and then finds out he's in the wrong universe. Miles then realizes the spider that bit him is from Earth-42 and was sent to that dimension when his DNA was scanned. And in this world, his uncle is still alive, the city is in complete chaos and destruction because there's no Spider-Man, and Miles' dad is dead. And out of nowhere, Miles gets hit and knocked out. So does his spider senses only work sometimes, or does it work all the time, but just not this particular time? Gwen then hears Miles' parents' concern for him, so she pops out to tell him not to worry and that she'll find him. Which is hella sus, by the way, since the apartment is not on ground floor, shouldn't the parents think, yo, how the hell did she even get here? So Miles' mom says, be safe, and you use protection. But yeah, Gwen then recruits Peter to help fight alongside Miles with a team that's on Miles' side. Meanwhile, Miles wakes up tied to a punching bag. Uncle, it's me. Whack. Oh, he hit like the Asian parents. Then an absolute badass of a character pops up that happens to be Miles. Bro's thinking like, damn, I could've looked like that? As the other Miles looks at Bro with the intent to hurt him. But it's like, why? If I saw another version of me, I'd be excited and happy as hell. Wait, if they get along and have fun together, does that mean Miles got excited playing with himself? The spot then arrives. Miles gets ready to use his powers to free himself. And the movie ends with that so they can make us hyped and pay for the next one. But your comment and let me know if you prefer to see older or more recent film commentary as the next film won't be an animation movie. It's been your boy KC and yeah, till next time.